Hi everyone. So I, today I've got a different kind of haul. Um, it's, I guess you could say it's an electronics haul. So um, after work, I rushed over to the store that I visited last week. Um, and it's called Crazy Hot Deals, I think, or Hot Deals. I can't remember what um, it says on there because it, it also goes like by treasure, treasure deals or something like that. Basically, it's a liquidation store. So they buy up the pallets of like Amazon returns and then, you know, they scatter them on these um, tables throughout the store and you just have to sift through and you never know what you'll find. Um, I've seen pictures of people that have, you know, they've scored like iPhones or like iPads, you know, laptops, um, Dyson vacuums, you know, all kinds of stuff aside from, well, aside from electronics, there's like, sometimes there's a little craft stuff, there's clothing, I mean, there's housewares, all just so many different things. Um, most of the stuff is like from China, but still, you know, there's some, some really good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with, um, something that I did buy last week when I went for the first time, I went on a Sunday. So the way that it works is that each day, everything in the store is, is a certain price. So they're closed on Thursdays because that's when they restock the store. So when they reopen on Friday, everything, literally everything in the store is $7. And then the price goes down um, throughout the week. So I think tomorrow, I'm not sure if it's $6 or $5 because I know Sunday it was four, Monday it's $3. Tuesday, it's, um, maybe it's $1. And then I know on Wednesday, the day before they, um, you know, they restock, everything is like 50 cents. So, um, I went on a Sunday on a whim because I'd been meaning to go. So I did get some stuff that was $4. Um, I don't even know where I put some of this stuff now. So I'm just going to show you one of the items that I have here. Um, so it was this um, charging pad. And this one I got for $4. It just says right there it's a magnetic wireless charger. It's 15 watts. So you can use it on any, um, you know, cell phone. So I have it right here. And it's charging my Samsung um, Buds. Um, and see how small it is? It's a lot smaller than your typical bigger ones. Plus, like I said, it's it's a, a 15 watt. So it's not like super fast charging, but it's better than some of those cheaper um, pads that you, um, charging pads that you find like at Walmart or at Target, which I think are only five watts maybe or 10 watts. So yeah, so um, I got that. It actually uses the um, plug is a, a USB-C. So I guess you could plug it in a fast charger. I'm not sure, but I have it tr um, plugged into a hub that I bought from Wal um, not Walmart, from Sam's Club uh, last week, uh, last Friday, I think. Yeah. So let's get started with the um, items that I got today. So the first thing, actually, the reason why I went is because I wanted to buy a new keyboard. And I had seen one last week, but it was out of the box and it was missing the receiver, the USB receiver. So it's just like, damn, you know, I mean, I could have got one for four bucks, but like I said, it was missing parts. So the first, was it the first table? The second table that I went to, I found this. This is a mechanical gaming keyboard. Um, name of the company, Wowie, I guess. So um, I was kind of surprised because it's pretty heavy. I've, I, I'm not a gamer by any means, and you know, but I've been seeing these and um, you know, I've been seeing them online and or on YouTube and I didn't buy it for gaming. I just bought it because I like the sound, you know? And I didn't realize until after I got home that it didn't have the um, numeric part right here, the keyboard, but that's okay. I mean, um, I don't really need that for my desk here at home. Um, I think this one lights up. I haven't even plugged it in. It does have, it's a USB-C, so it plugs in, the USB-C plugs here. It's kind of weird. I would have thought that it would be the other way around. And then it's just a regular USB. But um, yeah, I, I know, I got black. 
they didn't have any other color but i mean i i guess i could change the you know the keys out with a different color it's just yeah this is black i would have hoped for white but uh you can't beat it for seven bucks so um you when you walk in a lot of the stuff is um a lot of the big stuff obviously is on top. There's a lot of boxes. Sometimes, most of the time you don't know what's in the box. So I pretty much figured out pretty fast on my first visit to look at the labels to get an idea of what um, is inside. And that kind of helped, you know? So if you're curious about what's inside, you're not allowed to open the box. So what you do is, you, you know, if you've got a big cart, throw all the boxes that you're curious about into the cart and then you go to this section in the store where they will open the box for you and show you what's inside and then they will retape it up if you don't want to take if you don't want to buy the item so yeah they don't want you opening the boxes because obviously people will rip open the boxes and then take out the stuff and then just throw it back on the table and then you lose parts so um yeah so I really didn't want to spend a lot of time guessing what was in some of those boxes because, you know, I wanted to get through as many tables as I could. I mean, um, it takes a lot of time sifting through and, you know, you develop your own style of sifting through a table, which I will explain. So I did find another keyboard. Now the reason why I wanted a keyboard is because I wanted one um, for work. I know I've mentioned before that I work at a uh, mental health clinic. What I've never mentioned before is that my family owns the clinic. So um, I myself like to use my own like computer stuff. I mean, granted, I got a new computer at work, which I didn't buy. Um, we bought new computers, um, but I wanted a nicer keyboard than what came with the computer. We were originally PC and then stupidly switched over to Mac computers dumb because um they bought used ones used uh macs which were just crap so fucking slow for the stuff that i had to do and um i convinced um them that you know if you're gonna get new computers i myself want to go back to pc and this time they didn't stint on the computers they actually got us really good ones and they're really fast and it's just amazing <laughs> how much stuff i can get done um on a much faster computer so I got this. It's a wireless keyboard. Um, the keyboard I'm using at work right now is just a basic black Logitech and it's a corded one. Um, it serves its purpose, you know, but it takes up a lot of room because we got some new desks. We got these like white Ikea desks. I can't remember the model, but it, I have like two big monitors and, you know, the desk size is actually the width is smaller than this table that I'm using right now. So, um, yeah, so I needed something a little bit, a little bit slimmer. So I was so lucky to find this because it's in one of my favorite colors, which is like a mint green and, um, it's pretty sleek, you know, uh, this is the kind that does not come with a mouse, which I don't need because I have my own mouse. Um, it's gonna, it's a Logitech mouse. I'm, you know, I'm a Logitech girl. But anyways, so I did get this um, keyboard once again, $7, okay? And I was happy that it was um, relatively packed up. Like, they opened the box probably to see what, you know, what was inside, but that's stupid because you already kind of know. And right here, it also tells you what color, you know? So... I did see one more and I'm so pissed that I didn't buy it because I could have gifted that. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I might go back tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so I got this second keyboard. So those were the two biggest items that I purchased. And then, um, so now I'm going to explain my method of going through those tables. So, um, Everything, like I said, all the big stuff is on the top, and then you just have a whole bunch of stuff underneath. My whole thing is I don't really pay attention to the big boxes because, like I said, it takes too much time. I like to um, throw all the other stuff out of the way and look at what's underneath. So I had been planning on getting a new gaming mouse pad for work because I like the fact that I have plenty of room surface for my mouse. And um, the one that I have right now, it's getting a little dirty. 
um, it's a white marble, like the same um, background as like this. So I wanted to get something a little bit darker and I found these two on the same table um, underneath a bunch of stuff. And I don't think people even realized what it was, but I knew right away when I saw it, what it was. So um, they're a little bit uh, smaller as far as like, you know, length, not length, uh, length width, width wise. Uh, but you know, still not bad for seven bucks when these are going for like 14 and up on Amazon. So this one is like, I haven't opened it yet, but it's like, I guess it's like a pink, kind of like a gradient. I don't know if there's any purple or if it's just like that color all the way through. And then this one is more of like a galaxy. I've already taken it out of the case. More of a galaxy looking one. I'm not sure which one I'm going to bring to work. Probably, I mean, I'm not that much of a pink girl, but I think I'll probably bring, bring this one. Oh, there's some green. I'll bring this one to work and then this one I'll use here at home. So yeah, so that's what I did. I, you know, I sift through and look at all the stuff underneath and it pays off because I always find a lot of really good stuff and the next items are all small and that's how I found them. So let's go through, okay, let me show you this. So this right here was the only one that I found. Sometimes I see a lot of stuff that's like in multiples of the same thing, but I did not see another one of these. So it was in a, this bag and shockingly enough, it's a portable hard drive, one terabyte for seven bucks. Um, and what was really cool was that it came with a USB-C, which I was happy about, but look how small this is. I've never heard of the brand. I need to like research it. Um, and I hope that it's really good. I think I put the cord underneath here. Hold on. It's USB-C to USB-C, I think. Hold on. Yeah, see? So um, this would be good for travel if it does work really well because <laughs> it's so small. And for one terabyte, that's going to store a lot of like pictures, you know, or videos. Um, great. Now I can get the cord back in, right? So yeah, not bad, right? Yeah, I'm going to do some research on that. I did research the, um, the gaming keyboard and that showed up as being like freaking $78, I think retail. I was shocked. So for seven bucks, it was a steal. So got that. And then, um, I was surprised to see this because I've purchased this on Amazon already, but I think the one that I got might be 100. I'm not sure, but it's exactly the same kind of, that I use to charge my phone. Um, this one right here, this is the um, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So, because um, I found that the, or the cord that it came with was too short and I needed something that was long. And this is how many feet? Shoot. I think the one that I got was six feet long. So anyways, um, these are really good quality for charging, um, fast charging. So, um, yeah, so it's USB-C to USB-C and I was able to find a 25 watt fast charger and this is seven bucks. Now, what was interesting with this was that I wasn't expecting that it came with a USB-C to a lightning, um, you know, connector. So, hmm, I might go back and I think actually I do need to go back. I need to buy another one of these so I can give it to my mom and dad and like they can use that to charge their iPhones because they have the iPhone SE, the 2020 version, and this will serve them well, especially if they're traveling. Um, I saw several of these chargers, so I know that they still have plenty if I go back in the morning. So yeah, so here it is. I don't know about the quality, but I will look it up and see. Hopefully it's it's not bad. I mean, otherwise I could buy the Anchor ones that I've seen over at Marshall's um, and TJ Maxx. 
But those were like $12.99 and that's why I kind of held off a little bit on purchasing it. So yeah, but these were excellent. If you um, are in the, you know, in the market for some USB-C to USB-C, I highly suggest you look this um, brand up on um, Amazon. I believe it was uh, probably $8 or $9. Um, I think, I can't really remember now, but you get two and they're like, kind of like a braided cord, but I have had no problems using it. And I've already had the, I've been using those cords for a year now. So yeah, so we got that. And then this one, I got really excited when I found it because I've been wanting to buy something like this on Amazon. So it's a USB um, C hub, but um, I had them open it because even though you yeah, had the pictures, I still wanted to look at it. This, you know, this bad boy here comes with so many ports, more than I was um, needing. First of all, it's um, pretty hefty. Like, this is not cheap. This is like, there's some weight to this, okay? So it's USB-C. So I've got two HDMIs. I have um, USB um, 2.0 here. I've got the USB-C, and then I also have for the charging right here, on this side, I've got, um, what do you call this again? You know, for the, uh, there it is, the VGA. And then, oh, I don't even know if I'm in focus, sorry. This is for the ethernet. And then on this side here, I've got three USB. And then, um, no, actually, what is this? Oh, one USB and then one USB three. It's like, I don't know what this is. They're all still the same, USB. And then I've got um, memory card slots here. And then also um, an audio jack right there for like headphones. So this is great for seven bucks. The one I was looking at that was a USB-C um, port only had four and it was like, it's something like $13.99. So I'm glad that I didn't buy it. I almost did this week. So yeah, I was so happy to see this. Um, I don't know. I might look for another one and give it to my brother if he needs it. But I don't know if I don't know if he he needs USB C. I'd have to ask him. He's probably gonna go crazy when he when I tell him about the store and the stuff that I found. Okay, so we got that, and then this was interesting because I've always wanted to purchase one of these things. So you attach it to your monitor. And I plan on using one of these at work. There's two in, in the bag. So it's like a mount, it's, it's what, here, they call it a monitor memo, uh, memo board. So you just attach it to, let me get in close here. You attach it to the side of your um, computer. This is the stupid Mac that I had at work, I hated it. Um, so yeah, you attach it to the side and then you can like hang like all your sticky notes, which, I have tons of because I, you know, um, I have like list of like clinics that, you know, we have to refer to if we can't see a patient, um, phone numbers to various people or whatnot. So, and then you can like put a, you know, like a, um, a post-it note, a post-it pad, you know, at the bottom here. So yeah, this will come in handy at work. And then I'm getting a, I'm going to eventually get another, um, we'll get a monitor for my laptop here at home because now I'm just used to using two monitors and it just seems weird not to use one now here at home. So I'll, I'll use that once I buy the new one. Um, but yeah, when I did have to work from home, when we had the snow, the snow days, um, it was just like, oh my God, I'm working on um, with a 14 inch monitor and I'm used to having two because there's so much stuff that I have to actually um, be working from. I have like a log, I have like various like when um, tabs to pull up the schedule, to pull up patients. And then, you know, I have like another tab to look, you know, look at the transcribed voicemails and all kinds of stuff. So anyways, I'm rambling. All right, so I found this uh, tablet phone stand. I'm not gonna keep this. Um, I might give this to my nieces. It's just one of those typical, um, yeah, you know, one of these stands. There we go. 
It's a lot more sturdy than I think the one that I gave them before. I don't know, we'll see. Or maybe I'll give it to my sister um, and her daughters can use it. So got that and then the last thing, I'll make sure. I found, so this is why it pays off. One, here's my method, <laughs> the method to my madness. I wear a mask, obviously. Um, and then two, I brought um, vinyl gloves, like disposable gloves, because you're sifting through and you're putting your hands underneath a lot of stuff to kind of move it out of the way. So you don't know if there's something that's sticky or something that might be potentially sharp. So um, yeah, so I, I brought some gloves and that helped because when I was sifting through, I found washi. Um, it's the Mocard washi. And you know, they do sell this on Amazon. I can't remember how much it is, but hey, I didn't have to pay shipping for one. Well, actually, I wouldn't have to because I have Prime, but I wouldn't have to wait, in other words, by buying it at the store. Trust me, I looked to see if there was any more of this because, uh, yeah, this is really nice washing. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't mind having backups of it. So, um, yeah, I did see some crafting stuff there. They had like a pat, um, I'm sorry. They had some scrapbook papers. It was like a set, but it, you know, right now it's seven bucks. Um, but I did not want to pay that much because um, I could wait. Hopefully it's going to still be there. I could wait till Tuesday and get it for like a dollar or even 50 cents on Wednesday. So these are the rolls that I, that, you know, I came with. So yeah, I got this for seven bucks, but still. Um, I probably need to check my sheen cart because I might even have these in there right now and I can take them off. So this one's really nice, the mushrooms. So yeah, so this was like a surprise. I was not expecting to find washi. Um, there were some stickers. There was um, a lot of like paint this time. Uh, what else craft wise? There's like, you know, um, beads and, uh, just a really strange ass assortment of stuff, you know? So, um, it's mostly all like housewares. And when I say housewares, like a shit ton of like curtains and, you know, shower curtains and like light fixtures. Um, what else? Like, exercise equipment like jump rope you know stuff and like ankle weights and um it's just such a wide variety and um this girl that works there i was talking with her um last week and she told me how they try their best to um spread all of the good stuff out on the tables like they don't try to like just keep it all on one you know a certain section like they really try to spread it out so that everybody gets a chance at trying to get something really good. I did find that the first visit, I found a lot of stuff in a particular section of the store. I don't know. It's just, maybe it's just the stuff that I liked. They just happened to be on that side because as I worked my way through the store, I found that I didn't find as much good stuff. So I was thinking maybe I'll, you know, there might be better stuff over there, but it turns out that, um, some of the good stuff that I found was actually more in the front of the store, which is like the first place that a lot of people would check. So, um, yeah, maybe they just weren't looking for that stuff this week. So yeah, I got lucky. But anyways, um, it was a pretty, um, it, 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 you know, I was pretty tired. I didn't realize that I was in that store for two hours and sifting through stuff until I was almost, I'd say um, three fourths of the way. And then I was kind of like, man, I'm kind of tired, you know? And I looked at my watch, I'm like, holy crap, it's seven o'clock. Um, so by then, you know, I was trying to go through like maybe the last three tables pretty fast. And then I started editing my cart, meaning I was taking stuff out. Um, like I found some like anime stickers that I want to get, but I'm not paying some bucks for. So I got that, uh, I put those back and then I was also going to get these little gush upon figurines that were, um, uh, Naruto or Naruto, whichever way that I was going to get for my nephew because he just started watching the series. So, um, hopefully those will still be there. I saw a lot of, actually, I saw a lot of anime stuff and it's interesting because I don't think a lot of people that go there even know any of the anime. Like I saw Hunter, 
Hunter, uh, X Hunter, what else? Um, a lot of Naruto stuff. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen, there was like um, the silent voice. They had like posters, like a, like a, a pack of posters for that. Um, there's a lot of like anime blankets, but the problem is is that um, it was like anime that I just wasn't interested in. Um, if I mean, they did have some Pokemon stuff, but I, I didn't really want to get that for my nephew. Not that the kind that they had. Um, I was surprised that they had like some trading cards. They had like magic, those magic trading cards. Um, there was like a big stack of those. There was what else? Oh, uh, I did find this really interesting. Uh, what do you call it? Um, deck, you know, like the card shuffler for, um, like, you know, when you're playing cards, like poker or something like that. But it was weird because I was looking at it and it is the kind that will shuffle, but it said manual. And I thought, wouldn't that be like an automatic because of the way it looked? It's like, I didn't see how you could manually shuffle it in the machine because why would you use the machine to manually shuffle if you could already shuffle it? Right. I think it was like, maybe the box was like a, a misprint or something like that, but it was from China, you know? So, um, yeah, it was just strange. But anyways, to wrap it up, these are the items that I got from, um, crazy hot deals. And I do plan, like I said, going back maybe tomorrow just to look for another charger, you know? Um, yeah, probably just another charger, but, um, if you have one of those stores in your city, you know, you should check it out because you might find some really cool deals. And um, if you don't have one in your city, look up and see if there's, you know, I guess do a search of like liquidation stores. Um, it's a, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, you're going to be spending a lot of time just sifting through, but it's kind of fun. I might take my nieces with me and have them help me. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I hope y'all are having a great week and a great weekend. All right, bye.